Punjab government has ordered a daily night curfew starting Friday and a weekend lockdown in all 167 cities and towns in the state as a response to the surge in coronavirus cases. The emergency measures will be in place till August the 31st. It also includes restrictions on public and private transport, a ban on public gatherings and closing of 50% of shops selling non-essentials in the five worst affected districts. Expressing that he was pained at being grossly misunderstood, advocate Prashant Bhushan on Thursday told the Supreme Court that his tweets which were held contemptuous by the court were not done in absence-mindedness and that he would not offer an apology for the tweets that expressed what was and continues to be my bona fide belief. The court today gave Bhushan two days to reconsider his defiant statement, refusing to apologise for his tweets. BJP MP and Member of Standing Committee on Information Technology Nishikant Dubey wrote to the Lok Sabha Speaker seeking the removal of Shashi Tharoor from the post of its chairman. Dubey cited the flawed mode and terrible disdain towards the established parliamentary institutions being exhibited by Tharoor as the reason for his demand. The row is over Tharoor sending a summon asking the Facebook representatives to appear before the IT panel and explain the report that the social media giant allegedly ignored hate content by BJP on its platform. The Civil Aviation Ministry has decided to charge higher aviation security fee from domestic as well as international passengers from September the 1st, senior government officials said today. The aviation security fee for domestic flyers will be increased to Rs 160 from Rs 150 starting next month and international passengers will pay 5.2 US dollars instead of 4.85 US dollars. The Assam Rifles has accused the Mizoram government of violating the directions of the Ministry of Home Affairs by allegedly restricting the operational movement of the paramilitary force in the state, a statement said. The allegation comes days after a section of media reported that Assam Rifles personnel forced their way through a check gate on the Mizoram-Assam border by allegedly refusing to comply with COVID-19 screening protocols. Rahul Gandhi predicted that India will not be able to give jobs to its youth in the coming days as he attacked Prime Minister Narendra Modi's policies at a virtual press conference today. The crisis would hit home in the next six to seven months, he said, reminding that the media had made fun of his prediction earlier this year on the coronavirus.